Hi, Hiram here. The other day, R. J. Berg made a comment. He said, if you're not going to use the water for coffee, a little salt in it will make it boil faster. Use the water for dehydrated food. Uh, I've had a number of people make that suggestion to add salt. I've also had others comment that using a pot lid will make the water boil faster. <clears throat> Excuse me. When my mom taught us boys how to cook pasta and potatoes, she thought all us boys should know how to be able to feed ourselves. Anyway, she said put a lot, <clears throat> put a lid on the pot to make the water boil faster because it keeps the heat and steam in. And she said add salt mainly to add flavor and add the salt after the water had already started to boil. Now, my mom was a great cook, but I'm not sure she knew anything about the gay Lussick laws. Gay Lussick law, rather. And I'm a little bit rusty on it, haven't had it since high school. But if I remember right, the law explains why water will boil faster at a lower temperature, at, at a higher altitude, a higher elevation. Uh, the boiling point of water is when the atmospheric, I'm reading off my notes here, boiling point of water is when as atmospheric pressure equals the vapor pressure. Basically there is less as atmospheric pressure at higher elevations, so less vapor pressure is required. It doesn't boil faster, it just boils at a lower temperature as a result. That's why people use pressure cookers. By, you know, if you've seen the pressure cookers, closing them up makes things build up pressure and cook higher and faster. That's why I use a thermometer in my tests because at higher elevations the water would boil, physically boil, but the temperature wouldn't be up to 212. <clears throat> but anyway, that's, you know, the, the, the scientific part of it. I think my mom would have just said, a watched pot never boils. And with that, putting a lid on the pot prevent you from watching it. So what I want to do today is several tests where I try it, uh, a pot without the lid, a pot with salt water, or rather I should say a pot without the lid, a pot with the lid, and then a pot with salt water, and see if there's any real difference in, in times. Let me light this. What I have here is a pot, well it's not really a pot, it's a container, a tea container. I had bought this at Goodwill thinking I'd play with this. This might make a nice little cook pot. I'm going to use it here today because it has a nice tight lid with a single hole in it for my uh, thermometer. It was a, a hole for the you know lifter on it. So anyway, let's get this going. Okay, that's to bloom. I have two cups of water here, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 723. That was two cups of water this time, starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 7 minutes and 23 seconds. That was an open, oops, showing here, an open pot without a lid and no salt. So what I'll do now is let everything come back down to room temperature and I'll redo the test with the lid. So I'll be right back. Okay, now here I have two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, this time with a tight fitting lid, that hole in the top, the thermometer goes through it and leaves practically no space left, I mean just a little bit, but it's a fairly tight lid. So let's see where this goes. There we have 212 at 532 it looked like. 
forgot to turn on the camera, just got it there. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, this time with a tight fitting lid, not real tight. You don't want to be pressured on there, you're going to make an explosion. But that was two cups of water starting at 60, came to a boil in 5 minutes and 32 seconds. Almost two minutes quicker than without the lid. I really think that's the way to go. I mean, people are using pressure cookers all over the world for that that reason. So I'll let everything get down to room temperature again, and I'll redo this test this time without a lid, but with salt in the water. So I'll be right back. Okay, now for the salt test. I have two cups of water here sitting at 60 degrees. I looked in my uh, Better Homes recipe book and they were saying to season add one teaspoon of salt to each quart of water. This is a half a quart so I have a half a teaspoon of salt there. I really think this is going to make the least amount of effect on the, the water. Okay. So two cups of water, half a teaspoon of salt, blew them on the burner already, and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes, 38 seconds. That's kind of surprising. Let me take this off. Hmm. That is really surprising. The first time I did this without the lid, oops, let me stop this. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 7 minutes 23 seconds. This time, with a half a teaspoon of salt in it, came to a boil in 6 minutes and 38 seconds. Again, almost a minute faster. That's surprising. Now, normally, when you do add salt to the water, it causes the, uh, let's see, how does this work? When you add salt to water, it changes the vapor pressure. But normally I thought that you had to add so much salt to it that it would become unpalatable. A half a teaspoon. I'll let this cool off and I'll taste it. But I don't think that'll make that much difference. But I am surprised here. So this, two cups of water with a half a teaspoon of salt in 6 minutes 38 seconds. Now, the lid, using the lid, still beat it. That was 5 minutes 32 seconds, a minute faster than even this. So I know what you're going to say. <clears throat> I should do one more test with this, the salt water with the lid. Actually, there's two tests I should probably do. The salt water with the lid and an unwatched pot. Just put it on here, put the timer on it, and let the camera sit on it, and I walk away and see how fast it boils, but I don't think I'm going to do that one. I don't like to leave the flames unattended. So I'll modify this. I'll do one more test here. Salt water with a lid and see if that makes a difference. So I'll be right back. Okay, here I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I'm going to add the half teaspoon of salt to it. Put the lid on. Two cups, 60 degrees on the stove, and let's see where this goes. And here we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes, 36 seconds. Okay, interesting. So that time, two cups of water. One quarter or one half teaspoon of salt starting at 60 degrees came to a full boil in five minutes and 36 seconds. When I did it with just plain water and the lid, now let me put this out. 
When I did plain water and the lid, it came to 5 minutes 32 seconds. So these two times are, you know, 4 seconds. That's To me, that's the same time. So the salt didn't affect it as much as having the lid on it. In other words, use a lid, don't have to worry about salt. Interesting. Now, you know, Cat Skittle Girl pointed out that my tests statistically don't mean anything because I'm only doing like one test each. I could be here all day if I had to test everything six, eight, ten times just for the same test. So these are just rough estimates. But I mean, we could see a difference here. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking her for saying that. What she's saying is entirely true. But for my purposes, just this one test each serves its purpose. Even here, we saw that test two and test four come out to about the same time because it's the lid that makes the big difference. So I'll put all of the statistics or all of the information down below. As far as I'm concerned, I thought of another way. Putting a windscreen around this would help it heat up faster. I don't use a windscreen here. I do outside, but I don't here so that you can see everything. It gets kind of boring if I have a windscreen in front of everything. But a windscreen would probably help. But having a, a, a lid, not a real tight lid, but a lid on your pots helps the most, I think. So I thank, <coughs> excuse me, I thank RJ Bird for his comment. I thank the others that suggested using the pot lid. I look forward, like as always, I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.